What does the German banking giant Deutsche Bank have to say about the use of XRP? Also, what issues does XSPDCTRA have with Ripple? Finally, if Ripple loses, will the XRP holders receive more money from the SEC fund than the civil case? Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 300 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future. So be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. Ripple, a trailblazing company committed to disrupting the cross-border payment industry using blockchain technology, has garnered recognition from major financial institutions. Among these is Deutsche Bank, a prominent multinational investment banking firm headquartered in Germany. Edward Farina, the CEO of Alpha Lions Academy, recently drew attention to a remarkable report published by Deutsche Bank, which dates back five years. Published in July 2018, the report sheds light on Ripple's strategic utilization of XRP to facilitate efficient cross-border payments. It underlines the immense potential of blockchain technology to transform the traditional landscape of international payments using Ripple's solution as a remarkable case study. At that time, Ripple's flagship product, RippleNet, comprised three distinct components, Scurrent, Scrapid, and Xvia. The Deutsche Bank report specifically highlights the role of Xcurrent in enhancing payment information and processing, while emphasizing Scrapid's ability to provide liquidity for cross-border transactions, utilizing XRP as a bridge currency. The report showcases Ripple's remarkable success in attracting over 100 financial institutions to its RippleNet network. Notably, SEB, a renowned Swedish bank, facilitated more than $1 billion in payments between Sweden and the U.S., leveraging RippleNet's capabilities. In addition, the report highlights Ripple's innovative approach to addressing liquidity challenges in cross-border payments. While current streamlines payment processing, Srapid utilizes XFRP to ensure swift liquidity provision. Qualix, a non-bank financial institution based in the U.S., effectively employed Srapid to expedite payments from the U.S. to Mexico. This groundbreaking process involved converting U.S. dollars into XRP via an exchange which was then instantaneously converted to Mexican pesos, significantly reducing the time and cost associated with traditional international payments. The Deutsche Bank report garnered public attention shortly after the XRP community brought to light a similar article by the U.S. Faster Payment Council, which spotlighted Ripple's innovative cross-border payment solutions. The report from Deutsche Bank further accentuates the immense potential of blockchain technology to bridge gaps in cross-border payment services, particularly in regions where correspondent banks have withdrawn their support. However, it acknowledges the challenges that must be addressed for widespread adoption, including the establishment of industry-wide governance standards and rules, as well as concerns surrounding scalability. Further exploration and expansion of proof-of-concept projects are imperative to ascertain the full extent of distributed ledger technology's applicability in cross-border payments. Furthermore, in a surprising turn of events, XSPECTAR, a realistic metaverse and NFT project on the XRP ledger, contemplates leaving the ecosystem due to a lack of support from Ripple. The matter became public when Mr. Intuitive, a well-known XRP influencer, took to Twitter to express astonishment at XSPECTAR's potential departure from the XRPL. He questioned whether other community members shared the same sentiment. Mr. Intuitive also tagged Bob Way, a member of the XSPECTAR team, seeking his opinion. 
The tweet included a screen recording from a Twitter space discussion where Dirk Sheppens, the founder of XSPECTAR, voiced his frustrations regarding the lack of support his project received from Ripple. During the discussion, Sheppens expressed disappointment at the perceived lack of recognition from prominent players in the XRP ecosystem. He lamented that while XSPECKR had made significant investments with a sizable team, it had yet to receive the support it deserved. Sheppens criticized Ripple for backing what he deemed useless projects instead of supporting those actively building worthwhile ventures on XRPL. He confirmed the company's plans to integrate with other chains, but expressed reluctance to leave the XRPL. Yet he noted that other chains and venture capitalists had actively sought XSPCTAR's involvement, offering substantial financial incentives. Interestingly, the XSPCTAR founder threatened to publicize emails and messages if the situation did not improve. Bob Way, a member of the XSPECTAR team, stated that Ripple had shown little interest in supporting their XRPL project. Way revealed that XSPECTAR had been rejected multiple times for XRPL grants and the XRPL Accelerator program. Nonetheless, Way underscored that the XRPL provided a strong foundation for XSPECTAR's metaverse and confirmed the team's commitment to building on the XRPL. The news triggered a flurry of reactions from influencers and industry figures. Jess Hines, a crypto lawyer, weighed in, pointing out that the lack of support for the community has been a long-standing issue with Ripple. He criticized Ripple's choice of supporting specific projects for what he deemed as the wrong reasons. A pro-XRP lawyer, Bill Morgan, expressed concerns about XSPECTAR potentially leaving the XRPL. Morgan believed it would be a significant mistake for XSPECTAR to make such a move and urged Ripple to recognize and support the project appropriately. Now to the big question of the day. If Ripple loses, will the XRP holders receive more money from the SEC fund than the civil case? Attorney John Deaton, the managing partner of the Deaton Law Firm, has continued to explain the implications of the civil lawsuit against Ripple Labs. Recall that a U.S. district judge certified a class action against Ripple, granting United States-based XRP investors the right to sue Ripple, alleging the sale of unregistered securities. The development has continued to stir reactions from XRP community members who are concerned about how the SEC versus Ripple case will affect the civil lawsuit against the company. On Thursday, an XRP enthusiast asked Attorney Deaton a pertinent question regarding both lawsuits. In response, Deaton explained that if Ripple loses to the SEC, XRP holders will not collect any money for years. He stressed that the issue of whether XRP holders will receive compensation via the civil lawsuit will only happen if Ripple loses on appeal against the SEC. Furthermore, Attorney Deaton highlighted the expected outcome of the SEC case if Ripple loses. According to Deaton, the leading blockchain company will appeal the SEC ruling if it loses. Additionally, Deaton said if Ripple appeals, the current status quo will continue to linger over the next two five years. He speculated that Ripple could take the SEC case to the Supreme Court if Congress does not wade in. Per Deaton, Ripple will get a total victory against the SEC at the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, in a scenario where Ripple loses all the appeals, including the SEC and civil case, Deaton said the regulatory agency would be in charge of collecting the money, not the civil plaintiff. Notably, the SEC would collect $1.03 billions, the amount it alleges Ripple raised via XRP sales. After receiving the money, the SEC will establish a fund to pay XRP holders as recovery, thus undermining the civil plaintiff. If I were the plaintiff's attorney in the civil case, I would want the SEC to lose because the SEC winning will gut the damages for the civil case, said Deaton. Furthermore, Deaton said if there is recovery, XRP holders will benefit more from the SEC fund than getting compensated via the civil case. 
According to Deaton, the civil case's lawyers will get 25 to 35 percent of the recovery fund for the attorney fees. After taking the percentage, the attorneys will also deduct the cost of the case from the fund before distributing the rest to XRP holders, Deaton said. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.